During the Cold War, America designed a weapon so terrifying, its own creators called it a flying crowbar. They needed an unstoppable weapon for the day after a nuclear exchange, a weapon that could patrol a radioactive world for months, waiting for the final command. The solution was Project Pluto, a missile with no fuel tanks. It was powered by a nuclear reactor, designed to run red-hot and unshielded. In 1964, they tested the engine at full power for five straight minutes. The insane concept actually worked. The mission profile was apocalyptic. It would fly at supersonic speeds just feet off the ground, delivering up to 16 hydrogen bombs on separate targets. But its primary mission was only the beginning. After dropping its payload, the missile itself would become the weapon. It would continue to fly for weeks, its engine spewing lethal radiation, poisoning the land, the air, and the water below. And when its flight was finally over, it would crash itself, turning its reactor into a dirty bomb, rendering its target uninhabitable for centuries. But the weapon was canceled, not because it was impossible, but because it was uncontrollable. A doomsday machine with no recall button. It was too terrifying even for the men who built atomic bombs. The ultimate weapon of deterrence. A weapon so horrific its only purpose was to never be used.